telling little girls to run because you they can't get away from you because you force him, I guess she means them, into sexual activities. You will not get away with this anymore, you nasty fuck. Karma's a bitch pedophile. So she's calling me a pedophile, even though she's like 27 years old. What's up guys, so today I'm gonna share the story of one of the craziest, most fucked up girls I've ever encountered who got insanely butthurt when I rejected her and threatened me with a false rape accusation multiple times. This story is gonna be insane, so enjoy. All right, story time. So this literally happened a few days ago and this is gonna get fucking insane. So the quick backstory is I met this chick off Seeking, which is a sugar baby, sugar daddy, whatever dating website, but you can use it as a normal dating tool, which is something not a lot of people know about. Uh, you know, there's gonna be obviously a lot of prostitutes and gold diggers on there, we just gotta screen those out, but there are some chicks on there who are just legitimately looking to meet a more successful 50 shades of gray type of guy and i've talked about this in many other videos so there's no need to rehash so basically yeah uh i can't show the screenshots from the uh on that happened on the website uh because it goes against their terms of use and i've had like kind of legal issues with them in the past so i don't want to like go against any rules but really nothing happened on there it was literally like hey you're cute hey you are as well like super basic stuff are you interested in meeting up uh yeah sure i'm down cool you know do you want to split a bottle of wine in my romantic balcony she says yeah and then I'm like, okay, cool. You know, when are you free? She's like, oh, I'm actually free tonight. I'm like, oh, uh, I don't know. I'm a little busy. She's like, oh, you know, yeah, I'm just kind of like, you know, I have a free night off. So she was basically like really in the mood to meet. So I was like, okay, I was doing a podcast, but I was like, fuck it, whatever. I'll just meet her after the podcast. And then we exchanged numbers. And then this is where things begin. And there was like, so like, Prior to me meeting her, there was zero red flags. Like it was totally standard, normal interaction. But as we're gonna learn, uh, she clearly was not a standard, normal girl. So I'm like, hey, it's Alex, hey you, hey you, you live close apparently. She's like, you're 30 minutes from me, so I'll be leaving soon. I'm like, great, are you wearing something cute? Mm-hmm, uh, but good girl, see you here at 11.30. I'll let you know when I'm close, one of these. And then here she tried to, I guess, uh, send me a text, didn't go through. As a side note, I'm using Google Voice, which is why the bubbles look a little different. And I always use Google Voice when like, I'm not sure about the girl, like when I haven't met her yet. Cause yeah, you know, sometimes you don't want like people knowing your number. It's a, like an extra precaution, right? Uh, you don't have to do that. But like, if you become like more of a public figure, you have a YouTube channel, it's better to be on the side of caution. So anyway, so I'm like, great, see you soon. And I'm like, do you have IG by the way? Cause I want to make sure she wasn't a catfish. Probably as a side note, I should have done that before I made plans with her. So it gives me her IG and I add her on Instagram and it looks fine, but she like all her newer pictures don't show her body. Her body was only in the older photos, which is like a red flag that she might've gained a lot of weight. So I was already like kind of hesitant. Like I was like, ah, uh, but she's already like kind of on her way. So I was like, all right, whatever. I'll meet her in real life. So I'm like added, I'm still finishing up a podcast. Mind if we do 12? She's like, I mean, I'm in the car now. I guess I'll just wait. 12 is fine. I'm like, awesome. See you then. She's like, on my way. I'll get there at 12. Almost there. I don't mind waiting until you're ready. I'm like, sounds good. I'll be ready 10-ish. I have no idea where to park. Lol. And then here she calls me and I'm like, oh yeah, we have like valet parking, we have like street parking, blah, blah. I explained to her that and she's like, uh, hello, I guess so she's, oh, I think she called me again to say that she's whatever, she just found parking, so I'm like coming, spelled with C-U-M, she sends me like a tongue out emoji, so clearly she's into it. I'm like, what are you wearing? And this is me, because I just legitimately, you know, like wanted to make sure I approached the right girl outside, because my building is pretty hectic and there's a lot of people hanging out, uh, which is a side note, you're gonna see later on, it's gonna work to my benefit. So I was like, wanna make sure I didn't like go up to the wrong girl and be like, hey, you, what's up? So anyway, so she's like, black jacket, hurry up, he's being weird, uh, hurry up, uh, so I guess she's referring to the valet guy. And so it's pretty funny because when I got outside, like she was kind of having already like a snappy back and forth with the valet guy. So she was already like bickering with him, which is like really weird because my valet people are like super nice. So that's already like a red flag. So I see this chick and yeah, she does not look attractive. She's like two points worse than her picks. So, Okay, so when I get a chick who doesn't look like her pics, I always do one of two things. So I never bang them. I'm not gonna hook up with a chick I don't find attractive. What I usually do is I just give her a hug and I politely say, hey, I'm sorry, I'm just not feeling it, right? However, lately for the past half a year, I've been a little bit trying to be a little nicer. So what I'll do is I'll invite the girl up and have like one drink with her for like 15, 20 minutes. And then I tell her I'm not interested, right? And that's what I've been doing recently. Uh, and which, which of these two I do largely depends on my mood and how much time I have free and how bad 
Kali, the girl catfished me, how nice she looks, blah, blah, blah. But for whatever reason tonight, uh, you know, or whatever this happened two days ago, I was like, fuck it. Like, I don't feel like even inviting her. Like, I don't want to spend time with this chick. Uh, she just gave me like a weird vibe. So anyway, so I see her and she's like, oh my God, here, you're here. The valet guy's blah, blah, blah. She's already like jumping into like a tangent sob story about how the valet guy's been like fucking her over, like probably pure nonsense. So I'm like, yeah. Uh, and then like, before we go inside my building, I'm like, hey, listen, like, there's something I gotta tell you. She's like, okay, what's up? I'm like, honestly, I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling it. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you coming, but you know, I'm just, this doesn't, it's not going to work for me. And she like looks at me, she's like, okay, it's fine. No worries. And then she like walks away. Right. And yeah, she seemed like a little triggered and butthurt, but that's to be expected. But I had no idea what was going to happen next. Right. So anyway, so we part ways, like literally I wound up maybe talking to her for like five seconds in real life. It was super quick. And so, uh, after I go inside, the texts start coming in, like literally two minutes later. So here it goes. Go fuck yourself, you're ugly as fuck anyways. You're a grown ass man and you just made me drive 45 minutes. I'll fucking say that you're a fucking douchebag. Your grandma is really atrocious. Uh, and this is like the typical butthurt text, like, eh, like mm, I didn't want you anyway and you have a small dick. It's so funny when chicks do that. I'm like, no need to get butthurt. You just don't look like you're the pics, sorry. She's like, your teeth are crooked as fuck and you look nothing like your picture. So she's just literally repeating what I'm saying. You didn't even see me but for two seconds and you're a rapist you nasty fuck don't worry you reported you fucking nasty bitch this is this statement contradicts itself because she said you saw me i only you only saw me for two seconds but you're a rapist so i raped her in less than two seconds that's like the fastest like you know whatever like sexual harassment ever so that statement in of itself would just like directly contradicts itself uh she's like police are on the way all i needed was you on cameras near valet hope you rot in prison coward i promise you will be in jail by the end of the night you fucking disgusting pervert. Well, don't worry. I did not wind up going to jail. I'm like, well, lady, I didn't even touch you. You're so butthurt. Not every guy's going to be interested. Sorry. She's like, I have everything on video. You nasty crooked tooth bitch. I'm not butthurt. You're ugly as fuck and you have to pay women to fuck you. You should be ashamed of yourself. I guess she's just like saying that because I'm on uh, the website. But again, like you don't have to pay chicks in order to get, you know, girls off sugar daddy websites. You just have to come off as like a high value, confident guy and be able to like reframe things as like, hey, I'm not on here to pay for sex. I'm actually looking for for a cool younger girl to date. So you just have to, it's all in the frame control. But so I guess she's just assuming that. She's like, it's okay, I have video and text message proof. You just fuck yourself in the ass, you crooked tooth bitch. Her grammar's so bad. See you in court, bitch, and I screenshot it, your profile, you fuck face. Get your nasty ass teeth fixed, please. Well, how am I gonna get my teeth fixed if I'm in jail? Uh, so I'm like, okay, yes, go ahead and tell the police I rejected you. Can you imagine the phone call? 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, this guy, he like, I saw him for like two seconds and he said he wasn't interested. And I'm like, I drove 45 minutes and I think he raped me. Like, okay, so when did the rape happen? Well, like, he, he, when he said he wasn't interested, he raped my emotions. Like, it's like so ridiculous. Uh, and then she screenshots my profile, I guess. And my caption is, runaway little girl. It's like a fun little, you know, whatever, push-pull thing I have. She's like, runaway little girl, you're a nasty fucking pervert. Watch. I'm like, yet you drove 45 minutes to meet this nasty pervert, dot, dot. Just take the L. I wasn't interested. It is what it is. And a side note, that's why it's a really good idea to have the girls come to you. Right, because then if they catfish you, you don't like them, then you didn't waste any time. Like this took me like literally 30 seconds, you know, I wasted on her. But if I had met her halfway or drove to her, then this would have been like a massive waste of time, right? So you want the girls to be the ones that are doing all the investment, you know, not the other way around. And that's the mistake a lot of guys make. She's like 50 shades of Alex, so that's like my username. Uh, we all know what that means, you nasty fuck. You're telling little girls to run because you they can't get away from you because you force him, I guess she means them, into sexual activities. You will not get away with this anymore you nasty fuck karma's a bitch pedophile so she's calling me a pedophile even though she's like 27 years old like makes no sense i'm like do you always get this butt hurt <laughs> i'm really good at like knowing how to troll and trigger girls when i want to uh, at this point i have like zero respect for her i'm like fuck this chick i'm just gonna troll and trigger her she's like you're the one who'll be you're the one who will be in jail in the morning you dumb fuck and everything you text me just go to court that i have all the proof i need your dumb ass came down her grammar is so bad so hard to follow this i have you my video and ballet, I guess she means valet, was my witness. The same, the same valet that she was fighting with is not gonna be her witness. I'm talking to him now, you dumb ass, you're a nasty fuck. Look at your bio in your profile on a dating site, you pay women to fuck you. She keeps using that at Hanum Attacks. You are fucked in the ass, you nasty bitch, karma is a bitch.
<laughs> you can tell just how like unintelligent and dumb this chick is. I'm like, I didn't know that rejecting girls who don't look like their pics is a crime. <laughs> so here I'm just trolling her. She's like, rape as, I guess she means rape is a serious charge, especially when someone's witnessing forceful behavior. You are a fuck, you nasty Herbert. I guess she means pervert. And then she keeps screenshotting me our combo, which is like literally super standard. It's like, hey, I have a podcast you don't want to do after. Like, I don't know how she thinks this is proof of anything. And as another side note, I agree. Rape is a very, very serious crime. Uh, however, what she's doing is extremely fucked up. Aside from the fact that she's accusing someone of a very serious crime they did not do, she's minimizing all the actual rape victims out there. When you call someone a rapist who literally just told you they weren't interested in you, you are, I think that's extremely offensive to actual women who've been raped. Like you're minimizing the trauma they had to suffer by just throwing that word around. Like that's just, I think like super fucked up, honestly. I think this is what she's doing is much more fucked up, like not even to men, but to women who've actually had to deal with this like, you know, a really fucking terrible thing like just like minimizing that like to this extent i'm like so well so your epic plan is to file a false rape charge question mark she's like no me and snow i guess show the fact that my vagina is bleeding because you're forced want to ask you are disgusting as fuck and i hope you're out in jail you miserable fuck you literally have to pay women for sex and look at your bio ryan i guess runaway little girl you're disgusting as fuck and you will never get away with it i will ruin your fucking life miserable fuck and I, <laughs> it was so tempting for me to just like reveal her personal info and actually ruin her life, but obviously I'm not gonna sink to that low. Uh, so I'm like, the only problem with this genius plan of yours is that the police are gonna pull the security tapes and then they will see that we spent two seconds together and never went inside. So the night will end with you getting charged with the filing a false report. And she now responded after that. As a side note, I should not have actually sent that last text. I should have just like let her fucking file a false report and then just get destroyed when the cops actually ask her for proof and then like, it just like it just her whole fucking story would fall apart and then she would actually get charged with a false police report so i shouldn't have like me sending her that last tax was actually me doing her a big favor and saving her from like getting into legal prom so you can see while this story is pretty fucking insane and hilarious in a lot of ways just because this chick is so triggered and so butthurt and such a fucking just like a whiny little bitch i guess that's the best way to explain her like this guy rejected me oh my god i can't handle rejection just take the l lady like you don't look like your picture sorry i'm not gonna bang you there's other desperate guys who will bang you you know your catfishing lying ass right but so anyway so but i think this whole thing could have gone a completely different way which would have been you know really fucking scary and terrible. So, you know, it's ironic that me kind of being that asshole in this situation and actually just like instantly rejecting her is actually what saved me because I was not freaking out at all during this whole thing because again, like we never went inside. I knew I had nothing to worry about, right? Uh, however, if I had done what I've been doing recently, which is inviting the girl inside, having a drink with her and rejecting her 15 minutes later, then I would have been freaking the fuck out because at that point, it would have been my word against hers and that can go whichever which way. I still think, Ultimately, I would have come out innocent, uh, you know, because again, like, you yeah, know, whatever they would do. But at that point, I would have a cause of concern. But since we never went inside, the whole thing was public for like 10 seconds. Her case would have been like literally laughable. And I think she realized that, which is why, you know, she'd never like actually called the police, whatever. So, yeah, so I think the whole thing could have taken a much, much more sinister turn had I been a little nicer, quote unquote, and actually invited her inside. So me being a little bit of a dick actually worked in my favor in a lot of ways. But again, I think what this chick, you know, was saying that she's going to do and just her texting that stuff is so fucked up, like so unethical and so unmoral to accuse someone of an extremely serious crime uh, that they didn't do. And to basically just because you're so butthurt and so triggered, you're going to like what you're willing to fucking accuse someone of something that fucked up. Like this chick clearly has no ethics. Uh, so, you know, if she's watching this video, then I'm going to say this, you are a massive piece of shit and hopefully karma comes your way, but I'm not going to stoop to the, her level of like revealing her personal info as tempting as that would have been, you know, that would have been like really fucked up on my part too, but it would have been really amusing to watch her just get destroyed on social media. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so I think that, you know, uh, my heart really goes out to, you know, men who've actually had like false rape cases. And my heart also goes out to women who've, you know, had to deal with rape. Like both of those things were extremely terrible 
and women who do stuff like this, who actually like call rejection rape are really, you know, like they're fucking over both categories. They're fucking over men by, you know, false accusing them of rape and they're fucking actual rape victims, you know, who are basically taking the trauma they went through and extremely minimizing it. So, uh, so hopefully this chick gets what she deserves. I'm obviously not going to like reveal any personal info about her as tempting as it is to, you know, have her be exposed for being an extremely shitty, fucked up human being. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but yeah, if she's watching this video, then you're a massive piece of shit and you shouldn't do what you're doing because karma is a bitch, but the karma is going to come after you, not me, because I'm clearly in the right here. Anyway, hopefully you guys found this valuable. And yeah, this is like a very serious topic, although, you know, there's also humorous aspects to the story uh, in the fact that, you know, like this chick was just so fucking triggered. Uh, but this is a very serious topic. And, you know, my sympathy goes out to any guy who's legitimately had to deal with this type of shit.